Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing superbly great. So let's continue with our RTP discussion for December 2021 exams of CA Intermediate. Right? So the, these RTP you can find on the ICI website. Okay, so uh, we have already completed question number one and question number two. And in the first lecture also, when we discussed question number one, I told you about some amazing courses on our Android mobile app. So you must download the Android mobile app. The link is given in the video description, right? All the latest updates, all the latest notifications you will keep getting on the app. So it is very important for you people to download and you can join our Telegram group and channel also for all the latest updates. All the links are given in the description. And if you want to have the handbooks, then you can visit our website. Again, the link is given in the video description right so uh, all this is for a short information let's start with question number three that is overheads absorption costing method now if you uh, observe one thing it is written overheads and with this it is written absorption costing method sir why it is written this absorption costing method is there any other method also related to overheads can you tell me is there any other method also which is related to the overheads yes sir the next question will be on that method that is activity based method right that is why it is given here the absorption costing method right now this question is a very similar question from your ICI module also uh, again right that is why I always say that doing the ICI module is the most important thing ICI module right it is the most important thing we have a whole separate course on ICI module in which we are doing only and only questions of ICI module in depth in depth discussions are right no question has been left uh, the illustrations the back questions everything has been discussed in that now let's read the question PL limited has three production departments P1 P2 and P3 and two service department S1 and S2 the following data are extracted from the records of the company for the month of October 2020 rent and rates is given 12 lakh 50 thousand general lighting 1 lakh 50 thousand indirect wages 3 lakh 75 thousand uh, power is given to you as 5 lakh depreciation of machinery 10 lakh insurance of machinery 4 lakh right other information is given to you what is given in the other information direct wages for the various departments horse power of machine used is given cost of machinery is given floor space is given number of light points and production as work expenses of the service department s1 and s2 are reapportioned as follows s1 20% to P1, 30% P2, 40% P3 and 10% to S2. Now this means this indicates the percentage of services being provided by department S1 to the various departments, right? Out of the total services, 20% of the services are being given to the department P1, 30% to P2, 40% to P3 and 10% to S2. Similarly, we are given for S2 also 40% to P1, 20 to P2, 30 to P3 and 10 to S1. Clear? Any doubts? Right, sir? So this is the amount of services that S2 has given. Right? Now, what is required? Compute the overhead absorption rate per production hour of each production department. Clear? Then he says, determine the total cost of product X, which is processed for manufacture in the department P1, P2, P3 for 5 hours, 3 hours and 4 hours respectively. Given that its direct material cost is 12,500 and the direct cost is 7,500. It should be direct labor cost basically or I can say direct cost also. Right? Direct labor cost you can write it down. Clear? Right, sir. Any doubt? Very simple questions sir. very basic question on overheads, right? This is one of the basic questions covering each and everything. Right now. When we talk about overheads, sir, very simple thing, the overheads we have studied in three parts, right? If you talk about the overheads chapter, we are studying in three parts. The first part is the primary distribution. The first part is primary distribution, right? There we studied about the rules of primary distribution, what has to be followed. Uh, then second step is secondary distribution, 
isn't it second step is secondary distribution where we have the various methods where we followed the simultaneous equation method repeated distribution method step ladder method right then the final step is absorption of overheads absorption of overheads right now in this question what he is asking is he is asking you to start from this step and end at this step obviously first you will be doing the primary distribution then you will be doing the secondary distribution what is the role of the secondary distribution distribute the service department cost among the various production departments for that also the information is given to us then he is asking you to find out the absorption rate clear now for primary distribution the first thing the first rule is what take the direct cost of service department let's see the primary distribution summary now what does this primary distribution summary says the first thing that is taken is direct wages now the direct wages are to be taken only and only for the service departments and nothing to be taken for the production departments right why sir because the direct cost of the service department is an indirect cost for the production department right i have given enough examples uh, in the lectures also on youtube right so the first thing is that you have to take the direct cost of the service department now one big question i have been getting a lot of queries regarding this recently also i got a mail from one of my students he says that sir in some of the questions they are taking the direct cost of service department and in some of the questions they are not taking right in the question if they are not taking the direct cost of the service department that is absolutely wrong right until and unless the question specifically says not to be taken right that will not happen if you will look at the practice manual or the previous year questions filed from the ici material from the ici website there are a few questions where they have committed a mistake where they have not taken the direct cost of the service department while calculating the primary distribution right so that is wrong basically so you always have to take there is no ifs or buts or there is no another case in which you have to take it or not right aap logo ko hamesha lena hi lena hai direct wages ke bina ye question nahi hoga direct cost of service department aapko lena hi lena hai sir theek hai uske baad second cheez hum log kya lete hain sir second hai ki agar koi allocated cost hai if there is any allocated cost that is the next step in this question there is no allocated cost right horse power is a cost cost of machinery is a cost floor space number of light there is no allocated cost in this case so that is out of equation after that we start with the apportionment now this these uh, expenses these overheads are to be apportioned now here we'll start with apportionment apportionment on reasonable basis that is what we say on reasonable basis right that is what we talk about reasonable basis now what are the reasonable basis reasonable basis are given here now if you have to distribute the rent and rates on what basis you are going to distribute it so now you have done sufficient number of questions to be quickly able to grasp on what basis you are going to do it on the basis of the floor right so all this is what rent and rates they have been distributed on the basis of the floor area between all the departments right in the primary distribution but uh, what we are going doing is we are distributing the overheads among all the departments then general lighting light points right indirect wages on the basis of direct wages power on the basis of horse horse power of machine used that is given in the question depreciation of machinery on the value of machinery and insurance of machinery on the basis of value of machinery so you simply have to distribute it right and this is the proper format that you have to make in the examination also where you will take the item of cost then the basis on which you are distributing then the total value of the overheads then show the distribution clear this is how exactly you have to prepare in the exam also because uh, if we say it is a professional exam some kind of presentation matters sir right the presentation in the terms that it should be clear to the paper checker that you have understood the concept you are doing it in the right way right it should not be an absolute mess that the paper checker should be keep uh, should, should keep searching for the answers right otherwise 
he will give directly zero nobody is going to make efforts to search for the answers right so it should be a crystal clear picture ekdam saaf jo paper checker hai uske samne ekdam se saaf tasveer honi chahiye bhai wo tabhi check karega otherwise usko cross kar dega wo theek hai chalo sir to ye to baat ho gayi sir primary distribution ki this is done primary distribution is done now come to the secondary distribution sir if you look at the question and if you look at the requirement sir for secondary distribution there are number of methods the question doesn't specify which method is to be followed the question doesn't specify which method is to be followed so you have to be very smart in identifying which method is to be followed from this information see s1 is providing the services to s2 and an equal amount of services are being provided by s2 to s1 isn't it so that means in this case you can either use the repeated distribution method or you can use the simultaneous equation method so in this case you can either use repeated distribution method or you can use a simultaneous equation method right sir which method is preferable if the question has specifically mentioned the method you have to follow that method right if the question is silent as to which method should be applied then you can use any of the method but i will suggest you to use the simultaneous equation method it will take a less time for you people repeated distribution there will be number of calculations when you will do this repeated distribution and there are chances that in uh, the more the calculations the more the chances of committing a mistake right so that is one area where i always suggest my students to use the simultaneous equation method clear so that is what institute has also done institute says i don't want to commit a mistake so here let's use the simultaneous equation method simultaneous equation method sir what is the total cost of s1 767583 calculated from here from the primary distribution plus 10% of the services which have been provided here right provided by s1 s2 to s1 by why sir it is a cost for s1 because s1 will pay for it right obviously it will be a cost for s1 na so point 1 Zero S two. Similarly, for S two, the total from the primary distribution. This is what we are getting from the primary distribution, right? Plus whatever the services are being provided. Clear by S one to S two. Any doubts? Clear, sir. Now what they have done is you simply have to solve this equation. They say substitute this value of S two, right? In S one here you will substitute this value. and they have solved the mathematical equations are very simple mathematical equation from here you will get the value of s1 as 8,260 and s2 as 3,26,776 very simple now this is the total cost of the service department right this is the total cost of service department right this is the total cost of service department now this total cost is to be distributed is to be distributed among production departments right on what basis we are going to distribute on the basis of the services provided right or i can say percentage of services provided any doubts let's see first we are taking the allocated and the apportioned as per the primary distribution what is the cost of p1 p2 and p3 right this one this cost 923 500 973 and 1264 167 so this is the cost as per the allocation and apportionment that is primary distribution sir right then we have to distribute the cost of s2 between the production department now what is the total cost of s2 8 lakh 260 so this you have to distribute in which ratio 20% 30% and 40% of that cost right 20 30 and 40% sir what about this 10% sir this 10% we have already considered while calculating this here this 10% has been given to the service department what we are doing is we are distributing the service cost to the production departments 20 30 40 simple right any doubts so this is what this is 20% of this right and this is 30% 
and this is 40 percent right if i'm not wrong it's 20 30 40 or 20 40 30 20 30 40 right in case of s2 it is 40 20 and 30 what is the total cost of s2 3 lakh 26 thousand 776 out of this 10 percent is for s1 we have considered the remaining 90 percent you will distribute here 40 percent here right 20 percent here and 30 percent here so this will give you the total cost of the production departments now the question says you have to calculate the overhead rate per hour right this is the total overheads that you have uh, calculated you will divide it by the production hours worked in the various departments right you have to calculate it with the production hours worked in the various departments so you will get the value calculation of you will get the value of overheads per hour sorry value of overheads rate per hour right overhead rate per hour 195 315 and 410 so this was the first requirement first requirement right the second requirement says you want to calculate the total cost of a particular process a particular product sorry which is being manufactured in all the three departments right in which material cost is given to you labor cost is given to you as 7500 and for the calculation of overheads they have given you the hours production hours 5 3 and 4 right the rate you have already calculated 195.06 315 and 410 what you have to do is simple direct material and direct labor given to you give in the question 20000 how to calculate overhead rate uh, overhead rate sir you know the rate for 1 hour and in the p1 the product x is taking 5 hours so what is the total cost 5 hours multiplied by 195 that is 975 in the p2 3 hours into 315 this p3 that is production department 3 4 hours multiplied by 410 1641.28 this is the total co overhead cost and this is the total cost of that product x which was required in the second part clear see these kind of questions have been asked many times in the examination from overhead so do not think that it is a very simple question yes you might be an expert at this question if you have done the icism completely right but still 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 what you have to do is you have to do the written practice if you think you are an expert do the written practice because most of the times whenever we know a thing we become complacent right hum log confidence mein aa hain bahut zyada we are into overconfidence that uh, this question very simple are kya hai sir ye question kya hai simple sa question hai sir kya puch raha institute lekin sir jab likhte hue galti karte hai na tab pata chalta hai kya puch raha institute right so it is very important many of time many a times what i have seen is that one of the major reasons of the failure is the lack of practice lack of written practice right so you must do it at least some of the questions you must do it like it is an rtp the rtp question you can do it in writing that is very important guys some part of writing is very very important because then only you will be able to know your mistakes okay so we are done with this question on overhead costing or absorption costing in the next lecture what we'll be doing is the question on activity based costing right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much